beauty would help the banner, the purity of heart, to stand against the arch image's reign of terror. Well, not that one. Maybe. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will be doing a review of the Minecraft Dungeons game on the Nintendo Switch. Specifically the Nintendo Switch. So Minecraft Dungeons, the price is $20. A fair price for 10 levels, although Squid Coast is technically a tutorial, so 9 levels. Plus a couple secret levels such as Creepy Crypt and Soggy Cave and Underhalls and more. The replayability for this game is rather poor, but for $20, what do you expect, quite honestly? And there will be DLCs coming out in the next month. But for for the most part, this game is a good, good deal for the price, $20 base game. I got the $30 Hero Edition, which will give me the first two DLCs for free since I've already paid for them. As I said, those DLCs will come out in July. I will also say that the graphics in this game are quite stellar. It does use the Unreal Engine, which explains why the graphics are so good. The shading is nice, even though it's blocky like in the Minecraft style that we all know and love. It still holds up very well in today's standards of 2020, in my opinion. A big issue though is you cannot pause, even if you're in single player. You can't pause the game, like, watch. If I go like this, you can hear in the background the game keeps on playing, and I can end up dying. And that happens a lot to me, and I don't really like that. That's one flaw for Minecraft Dungeons is a dungeon crawler game. And as for a dungeon crawler game, I would say it is one of the best dungeon crawler games I've ever played. I've played Dark Alliance and Gauntlet Legends for the Nintendo 64 and GameCube. I've played um, other type of dungeons game, you know, like um, I've, I've played some other games, so it's like I do know what I'm talking about when it comes to dungeon crawlers, sort of. So I will say that this game, Minecraft Dungeons, does hold up to be one of the best, if not the best, dungeon crawler I've dungeon crawler games I've ever played to this day. Also, since it's um, Minecraft themes, which we all like Minecraft, don't we? Uh, it's Minecraft themed, so... I mean, it's Minecraft themed, but it's not... It's it's still different. It has a fresh feel. When you pick it up for the first time to play it, it's very easy to play it, but it's pretty hard to actually master it. Not hard, but it does take some time, you know? Like, I'm at endgame status now. That took about 40 hours. 30 or 40 hours. For $20, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good steal, I'd say. You know, there are games out there for the Nintendo Switch that are $60, such as Link's Awakening, that have about 15 to 25 hours of gameplay time before you beat the game. Whereas this game, I've played it for 45 hours and I'm still getting a lot of enjoyment from it. So it's a very basic game, I would say, but it's also a very easy game to pick up because it's a basic game, but also just Look at how many items you can get. This is just a fraction of how many items you can get. These are all, most of these are uniques. I'm trying to collect uniques. But just look, look at the as many enchantments you can get. The way enchanting works is out of this group, I can pick either Poison Cloud, Radiance, or Weakening. And I will be making a video in the future, which are the best enchantments for specific melee weapons. I will be delving into that in the future. Subscribe if you're interested in that, but right now we are focusing on like this weapon the Highland Axe We can put on three enchantments. We can put one of these three plus one of these three Plus one of these three so you can have almost infinite options With your, like I could use these daggers instead of my glaive Even though I prefer my glaive or I could use this claymore for example it swings super slow. There are many, 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 many weapons choices, as well as ranged weapons such as this that fires multiple arrows. Look at that. 
Whereas mine, I like to fire one arrow that explodes on impact like that. And there's many types of armor as well. Just, just, well, I don't have a lot of armor, but there's more. There's a uh, wolf armor, hunter's armor. They all have their own unique perks. And the mystery armor, there's mystery armor that is completely random and provides an even more surprise to what you can pick up. I really like my music, especially in video games. And this is, this game holds up to Zelda and Skyrim and some other games in their music. It's just so good, especially the final boss theme, which we heard at the beginning of this video. That is one of the best tracks of this game. The pros of this game, the price is good. The music is awesome, the visuals is awesome, it's got really nice gameplay, but the cons of it is the, um, possibly, oh gosh, I'm almost dead, the lack of different contents. Now that will be changed with DLCs to come in the future, but for those of you who will not be buying the DLCs or refuse to buy DLCs, well, you're out of luck. But for $20, this is a really good game. I have seen on Reddit a lot of bugs, but for me, I've only dealt with a little bit of lag. And it's not that bad, and it only occurs in very heavily populated areas, you know? Other than that, this game is really nice. If I were to rate it from 1 to 10, I would rate it a solid 8. It's a very nice game, very good gameplay. The music is awesome. The amount of options you have when upgrading your items by enchanting them is just... It's just... I've never seen anything like it, except for Skyrim's enchanting, which is just ridiculous, you know? If you've ever played Skyrim, then you know what I'm talking That's about. That's gonna wrap things up for today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed or found it helpful in your questioning to purchase Minecraft Dungeons, which it released a couple weeks ago. I am a bit late on this matter, but I hope y'all enjoyed. And if you wanna see more Minecraft Dungeons content and even Minecraft content in general, be sure to subscribe, click the bell, and stick around because I upload a daily Minecraft and Minecraft Dungeons content. Bottom line is, Minecraft Dungeons is a wonderful game if you like dungeon crawlers or if you like Minecraft in general. It's got that Minecraft feel that we all know and love, but it's also fresh. It's its own game, and I really like that. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I hope to see you in the next one. This is Alderson, signing out. Have a nice day.